So, if your first printing book does not have a quote from The Guardian on the back of the dust jacket, someone's trying to trick you. Hey Harry Potter fans, The Potter Collector here. Welcome back to my channel where we are a community of collectors. Today I would like to talk about the first American edition of the Harry Potter books, specifically the first printing set, what to look for, what to avoid. We'll go over some values as well. All of the American first editions have cover art by Mary Graham Prey. This is very iconic cover art for Harry Potter fans. I'm gonna blow through them really quick. Love the blue on Order of the Phoenix. This is my favorite cover out of all of them. And of course, Deathly Hallows. Now you may be wondering why Deathly Hallows and Prisoner of Azkaban do not have protective sleeves over the dust jackets. That's just because I haven't um, put new ones on yet. All right, let's start with Sorcerer's Stone. This is the most complex of the seven books when it comes to printing points, uh, what to look for, what to avoid. There were 30,000 first printing copies of Sorcerer's Stone. As we learned in another video that I did, the printing is the entire print run of a book. So for example, all 30,000 of the first printings were in that initial first print run. A first edition can have multiple print runs. So for example, if Sorcerer's Stone is in its like 100th print run. So there are millions of first edition Harry Potter books out there. It's the printing that you want to look for. On the front of the dust jacket, you will find Harry Potter in raised gold lettering and JK Rowling with recessed gold lettering. This was later changed to raised lettering on later printings. On the back cover, you will find a very important quote by The Guardian. If you find a first printing with a dust jacket showing a quote from Publishers Weekly, then the book's jacket has been swapped for later printing. I'll touch more on that in a little bit. On the top spine of the book, we find JK Rowling. This was changed to just Rowling at printing number five. We also see JK Rowling on the spine of the book itself, which was also changed to Rowling on printing number five. The front inside flap of the dust jacket should have a price of $16.95. The book board should be purple and red. And most importantly, on the copyright page, we need to see a number line that reads 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. The number 1 in that number line tells us that it is a first printing. So a second printing would read 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. The 2 showing it was a second printing. Now I am aware that there are some minor printing spelling errors uh, within the book, but I don't know those offhand. And really they're not important as long as you have the other printing points that were just mentioned. All right, let's take a look at Chamber of Secrets. There was a significantly larger first print run of Chamber of Secrets, 250,000 compared to the 30,000 from Sorcerer's Stone. There were two first printing states of Chamber of Secrets. Some say three, but I'm a two state believer. The first state has rolling on the spine of the dust jacket as well as the spine of the book. In the second state, they started to introduce the year number underneath the name rolling. So the second state would have year two and year two underneath the name rolling. The price on both the first and second state should be $17.95. And on Chamber of Secrets, they moved away from that scattered number line and went to a countdown 10 to one number line. Again, the one showing it is a first printing. A fun little error that is inside uh, the first 20 or so printings of Chamber of Secrets is also by J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Sorcerer is misspelled. Prisoner of Azkaban through Deathly Hollows is pretty simple. We're really just looking for that 10 to 1 number line. Purple and teal boards. Goblet of Fire, we find red and black boards. And of course that number line, Order of the Phoenix. Half-Blood Prince. And Deathly Hollows. 
when it comes to things to avoid, two through seven really aren't an issue. The only thing that I could see happening is if you were purchasing a first printing of Chamber of Secrets and the dust jacket had a price tag of $19.95 as well as a number one on the spine but the book itself does not have a number one on the spine, someone has then switched out the dust jacket from a later printing. So, which one is the first printing of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Let's go through some scenarios of things you want to look for and avoid if you're interested in purchasing a first printing. The first thing that you may run into is a jacket swap. So someone has taken a jacket from a later printing and put it on your first printing. Remember, you have to have the quote by the Guardian on the back cover. Okay, so you may say, hey Peter, but I found a first printing with JK Rowling on the spine and the $16.95 price tag, except that it says Publishers Weekly on the back. That still makes it a first printing, right? Because it has two issue points? No, it needs all of the issue points. Something important to know about the first four printings of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Printings one and two featured the quote by the Guardian on the back cover. At printing three, they changed the quote to Publishers Weekly, but kept J.K. Rowling on the spine, as well as the $16.95 price tag. This went through printing number four. So printing number five is when we first find just Rowling on the spine. If your first printing book does not have a quote from The Guardian on the back of the dust jacket, someone's trying to trick you. Something that confuses a lot of collectors are the book club editions of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. They are technically first printings, but they are a totally different edition. You can find them with black and maroon boards, solid black boards, or solid red boards. These books were sold to book club members. They are made with very cheap materials, which helps us spot a true first printing. So already you're probably noticing that the board coloring is different. So if you're looking for a first, a true first printing, you of course want to look for the purple and red boards. Anything other than that is not a true first printing. The front dust jacket does not have raised or gold lettering. It's just printed directly onto the dust jacket itself. What's nice is we don't see a quote from the Guardian on the back cover. And book club editions do not have prices. So the thing that book club editions do have is that first printing number line because it is technically a first printing, just a totally different edition. So that number line definitely confuses a lot of collectors. One thing that you can look for on a copyright page to determine very easily if it is a book club edition or not, I mentioned before the materials are a lot cheaper. You can see just how thin the paper is. See the diamond pattern on the opposite page? You can very clearly see that through the copyright page which shows how thin the material is. Whereas on the first printing, the paper is significantly thicker and there is little to no see-through. Now we have seen counterfeit first printings of Sorcerer's Stone. What do you want to look for? Okay, so say you find a first printing, it has JK Rowling on the spine, red and purple boards, the copyright page has that important number one on it, but you're looking at the picture that the seller has posted, the paper seems a little thin. You see that diamond pattern on the opposite side of the page. Now it may be a trick of the light, but this is definitely something to question. It's possible that this seller has taken the copyright page out of a book club edition and inserted it into a second, third, or fourth printing of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Remember, those are the only ones with this JK rolling on the spine. Now most likely if you did come across something like this, which is very rare nowadays, the dust jacket most likely would not match that of a first printing. So that would be another red flag to look for. Always question a seller and always ask for help if you're not sure. I mean, of course, as collectors, we need to educate ourselves, right? But there are expert collectors in the field who are happy to help. So those are really the only scenarios that I can think of that you would possibly have an issue with when buying a lovely first printing copy of Sorcerer's Stone. All right, let's go over some values. In current markets, an unsigned, fine, as new condition copy of Sorcerer's Stone may sell from anywhere from $900 to $1,500. Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban in fine, as new condition, you're really only looking at about $40 to $50. Now it's important to mention that you can find first printing books at used bookstores or thrift stores for, you know, a couple bucks. 
Goblet of Fire you may pay 30 to 40 bucks for for a fine condition copy. Then Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows you may pay anywhere from you know 20 to, to 30 dollars for an as new copy. You're really just paying for the book at that point because millions of them were printed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful in your collecting journey of Harry Potter books. If you have any questions ever about Harry Potter books or collecting Harry Potter books, please feel free to send me an email, leave a comment below. You can also reach me at the Potter Collector on Instagram. It may take me a few days to respond, but I'm always happy to help. Please give me a like, subscribe below, and until next time, keep collecting.